Hey, sir. Turn on. Do not disturb. Okay. Do not disturb is now on. Perfect the window. Yeah. I'm so tired. Dan was like, we don't have to go on because I was tired. But then I was like, no, let's get on and then I'll get off. <laughs> we'll get on and then I'll get off. I'm tired today. I just, I've been doing so much that I get so tired. And I read a little bit and then it made me tired. Let me go um, sit down. Upload a video. You, uh, Sit down, because hold on, let me go put the dog away. Putting the dogs away. While the mice are away, the dog will play. I, I... Okay. That's good, I know. <sighs> What's today? Monday or Wednesday? No, today's Wednesday. Wednesday, June is Christmas. You know what tomorrow is? Woohoo! What's tomorrow? Thursday. Okay, well, what does that mean? No. That means I get my day, I, I'm in the office tomorrow. Late. I don't, that's, no. How is everybody on this Wednesday? STEM on TikTok Live, April 15th. Wow, tax day. How's it, oh, how's everybody doing? Now I can see a little better. How y'all doing over here on the YouTube? She's being honorary. Who? Who's being honorary? Coco's honorary. She got a shot today, so she could be honorary. Hi, psych, East Psych guy. How you doing in Missouri, Kentucky, England? Yep, Bucky's. I've never been in one, but I've seen them on TikTok, so I, I will visit okay. one next time I. The next time we start traveling? <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, I keep telling Dan to put on his hat, you know, when he walks and he doesn't listen to me, so. Why, why are you so close to me? I mean, I was sitting here and you sat next to me and now you're asking me why I'm so close to you. From Folsom. I was here the whole time. I had plenty of room no, on both sides. You now you're not. Just, yes. You moved your chair closer to mine. <laughs> Sorry, I'm making you uncomfortable. My, well, because I'm was, invading her personal you are space. Invading my personal space. Yes. Too much space. That's perfect. That's good space. Hello from Egypt. Hello, BJ. Hello. Mama dogs. He's right. He's right over there. You guys should know. We come on every time, time at the same every day. time. Why do we have to ask the same question? You know, one thing about uh, dementia is routine is really important. So typically, if it's five o'clock, he's eating. We try and keep it right, you know, to the clock. It helps him, really helps his internal clock. You? Good evening. Yeah. I just, it, it, you know, that's the thing. It's like, it's like. Thank you for the airplane. That wasn't an airplane. What was it? Origami. The origami. What is origami? Is it like paper artwork? It's things you make out of paper? I mean, I've heard of it, but I don't really know exactly what it is. Origami. How you doing up in Eugene? Yes, he claims. I know, he Mike. We, we're he excited about that. Um, I may see some baseball, uh, major league baseball games now. Um. Uh, he, Clay, he never thinks he eats. 
So that's what happens. He thinks he's never eaten. Today at four, he said he's famished because he hasn't eaten all day. He had no breakfast, no lunch, no snacks. So I told him to sit down because dinner was going to be in 30 minutes. Yes. <laughs> and he did have breakfast and, and lunch. And a snack. And he had just given him, hi Rocky, and I just had given him a pear. Actually. And then he argued with me that he didn't have a pair. We have but some had, more of his lunch. He had three items from Taco Bell today. He, had he two, ate three? Uh -huh. You gave him another one. I gave him a burrito. So he had two tacos, a burrito, and two big cookies. Uh, maybe I was going to eat that burrito. Well, he, I don't know why you just give him two tacos. You do this I, all I, the time. Do you have dementia? No, because I don't. Because every time he's like, still says he's hungry, and you're like, well, I guess give him a burrito. He doesn't normally eat three items yes, from anyone. Does. No, he doesn't. Yes, he, he never has eaten three items well, in his whole life. If you gave him a burrito and a taco, maybe. But when you start him off with two tacos, because you're being selfish. Ate. I'm not being selfish. No, I'm like, going to eat the taco. Nobody gets full. I don't eat those damn tacos. Nobody gets full off of two tacos. My dad does. No, he doesn't. He does. Lord have mercy. Oh, does God. anybody get full I'm off of two selfish. tacos? I'm being selfish. Like I'm depriving him of food so that I may have a late night taco. You, no, Is that you what you're wanted doing? the burrito. I would have eaten it. I'm just saying, See? now I gotta figure out my dinner. Jesus. Because I would have, you know. Nobody eats. I, that's why I don't fuck so with the So there's one tacos. item left. Is that there's right? There's two items. You bought two additional tacos. Oh, so I have tacos. one crunchy taco and one chicken taco. Yes. That's fine. Lord. But you could have given him the chicken taco. He needed something substantial. And that is substantial. If a chicken taco. If you wanted a bean burrito, you should have bought two. I, it's okay. I'll find myself something else. But who eats two tacos? Grandpa eats two tacos. I need at tacos. least four. <laughs> I don't. I need at least four. I, I it, Screw the tacos. No, give the tacos me a burrito. No. Tacos are pretty good, actually. Yeah, that's why I always say, Kimmy, he always does that. He always does that. And I always say, buy more burritos. Well, I wanted the burrito. Well. <laughs> I just knew it was there. And I was thinking, you know. They usually get eaten anyway by somebody. Uh, do they have me uh, Mexican pizza there at Taco Bell? Yes, they do. I haven't tried that. I mean, all I've tried, I mean, I'm pretty old fashioned, you know? The same crap that I bought when I was eight years old. Tacos, tacos are not and burritos. Going. I don't like no. all the fancy, you know, like Taco Supreme with Jack. olives and who, who puts olives in tacos? When I go to Taco Bell, I get two bean burritos. Ooh, burrito tacos are good. Erica, um, Manscape. No, probably not. What? She asked if we were going to have any more Manscape. Um, I, that's a good question. I don't, you know, the guy that, that my contact is just disappeared. And it's really weird how you, you know, you people want it. And so I, I have to contact them personally and see if I can figure out the person he dealt with. I love their onions. So I got a good idea for one. I love Cat, I, I'm, I'm really. I wish I had more tacos too right now. What are you doing? I'm going to let her in here. You're going to let her in? Yes, I'm going to let her oh, in. Oh, just in the bedroom though. I, I would get, my dad would probably like the Mexican pizza at Taco Bell. Yeah, you can make good bean burritos at home too. It's a rosarita beans, a nice tortilla, sour cream, tomatoes, cheese, lettuce. Oh my God, almost. And so hot sauce, you know, you can get sauce, get taco sauce. Mmm, delicious. Delicious. And you can, you know, if you steal the packets from Taco Bell, you get the good, you know, mild or whatever you like, the hot sauce they have there. You work at Taco Bell Chicken Bus? I'll bet you, you must be sick of it if you work there. Because, I mean, you can only eat so much Taco Bell. Did the Giants lose today? They did not, Moneymaker. They won today because I watched the game. <laughs> I've never been to, to Bucky's. No, we don't. Uh, we got the Bucky's from a friend of ours. But I, I will go to a Bucky's this, the next time I'm around. I love Taco Bell. Where there is one. Mm. But it's yeah, really, you can't get Taco I'm going to tell you, though, something. I'm going to tell you something. It's not the same as what's in the pouches. It tastes different. I have not personally noticed that. Mm -hmm. I do. I do. I love Taco Bell sauce. Actually, sometimes I go there just for the sauce. I mean, I don't go there and just go, I'll take 10 sauce packets, but you know, I'll get, I'll get, give me three tacos and 20 sauce packets. 
Oh, usually I get to eat. eat. What's the I can eat three, three sauce packets on. Oh every, my gosh, every item. Camilla, did you see how close I am? <laughs> I'm so close. I told everybody I want a nice, expensive gift. <laughs> I'm hoping that is so off-putting. I was joking. That is very off-putting. Lord have mercy. You remember mercy. on the Between Two Ferns when Galapagos was interviewing um, the chick from The Hunger Games? I have no idea what you're talking about. You know the guy from Hangover, right? With the beard. Galapagos? Well, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> Dude, Galifianakis? Galifianakis. He was interviewing the chick from The Hunger Games, which is... Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence. He's beautiful, by the way. But... When, I don't know. I yeah, know. Zach, I and he had, and and she, he brought something up, and he said something about pudding, and she good. said you should be off pudding. It was a play on you know, like off pudding. It was pretty funny. Mm. And mm. and then she. Camilla, why? Thank you. I've been. It's been like the slowest movement ever, and today I kind of jumped a little bit, and I got really excited, and then I lost two. <laughs> they probably saw my live this morning, and then um, <laughs> I gained one back in between. <laughs> Uh, what are you doing your live this morning? Don't worry about it. Really? What What did you do on so your So what did the Giants do today? What did they They win? won. They won today. What did they win? Why are you changing the subject? <laughs> did they win? I mean, you know I'm going to go watch it on, on, on YouTube the minute we get off here. Don't do it. You're not going to be very happy. <sighs> it wasn't about you. What are you doing on there? All right. WTTV. Uh, <laughs> B. Joe, I would, I, I'm not, I don't, I mean, I'm not a big pineapple pizza guy, but if it's on there, <laughs> I'll eat it. Damn scary. As long as it stays on and doesn't fall off, I'll eat whatever is on the pizza. I'll just eat it. I mean, I eat it. I don't, I'm not a big fan of onions on pizza. Oh, balut! Let's apple. celebrate with a balut. Hell no. Blue? A balut. Do you know what a balut is? No. You don't want to know. I don't want to know. No. Let's just not even talk about we it. We talked about balut. I don't want. I don't. I don't want to know. We kind of talked about balut. No, it's way. never about me, Emily. But no, I'm this time it wasn't about you. It was. Oh. A, it was about me. Okay. My my body, my choice, my rights. Dan had a 1.27. What was my high school GPA? <laughs> it was pretty low. I mean, if, 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 if I don't, it might have been a one something. Why did we have to zip it? Because Dan's not in favor of talking about that stuff. Yeah, I know. I mean, it's just it's when it's it's division. It's divisive. divisive. Right. And any of these any of these long, hard held positions that people have that people don't move off their positions, they just get angry and. It's just not healthy. Oh, and you weed out the people you don't need in your corner. Well, they're not all bad people on the other side. That's the difference between you and I. I can disagree with somebody and they're still a wonderful person. It's just, that's just the way it is. Mm. Nobody was angry. Just a couple people, Tammy. Just a couple people. Oh, I mean, that's... Now Dan's going to get a lecture. Dan gave me a lecture already this morning from yesterday because he heard it. The weather is amazing. <laughs> yeah, Dan, no. So, how's the Sacramento weather? Ask Dan what he did today. I'll talk about what I did. <laughs> Quit being a lawyer, Dan. <laughs> Goodman, you're confusing me. Uh, I've never been to Bucky's. Hi, Stacey. We don't have a Bucky's. We don't have one here. Mm -hmm. Hand or belt? I, I, I. I I mean, I would, I mean, we weren't big hitters. I smacked my kid once. I told the story when when she was, what, how old? Three or four, four years old? She deserved it. Well, of course she deserved it, but I felt guilty forever. So we just resorted to pulling the ponytail. I did, the, the, I, I did pull hair. I did yeah. grab the hair and like... Sherry, I'll room. be on the next flight out. <laughs> what time you want me there? <laughs> I don't know what's happening in the 49ers. 
know if you're talking about the Super Bowl or the guy who just retired. We don't have a Tim Hortons either. Isn't that a Canadian thing? But Tim Hortons is, I mean, you don't Had need you ever, a Tim Hortons. Hortons. It's a donut shop, right? No, it's a coffee. Yeah, it's a coffee shop. We got plenty of coffee. We just bought, uh, Bucky's is original, you know? It's really original. Stay there or not? Hello in Gambia. Uh, the April Fool's pink on haters. <laughs> Glad you watched the whole thing. Um, international. Buckeye, uh, Tom Hortons. Buckeyes is also, we don't have it here, but um, people send us stuff. It's Buckeyes, not Buckeyes. Buckeyes. Buckeyes is the... Bucky. Oh, shit. I just hit my, my eye. What's my skin routine? I can tell you. DNA. DNA is skincare. Let me tell you, that's all you need. <laughs> uh, hi, Jackie. Is DNA an acronym what's, for something, or what's a Tim? What's a Tim? Do you not allow? What, what's or is it like genetics? Diabortisin, glutacate, whatever it is. Uh, it's called genetics. Di dia di DNA di necra. Twenty years later, you have a love relationship, a love hate relationship, like us. <laughs> you forgot the hate. <laughs> that's fake. That whole, la that whole that's thing. Not, is, believe that's me, what, when you look at that and your eyes roll up, that she's not like this anywhere else. You, you'll ne I've never seen that, but she just did. That's have you seen this? That I've seen, but not that, not the other thing. I know. did the evil laugh on purpose. Thank you for the acid part there. The dinucleur, nucleur, dinucleur, nucleur. Yeah. You guys, when we bad. come on a live, don't ask where Grandpa is. He is. Every time we come on a live. so loud? You're not going to hear you. Every time we come on a live, he's eating dinner when we start it. When we start, he's usually eating. There you have it. <laughs> and how everyone's going to do it. I mean, that's the thing about when you speak up, when you say things. You invite a lot of. A lot I of am shit. woman. You invite. Hear me roar for my protective rights and more. I will speak my mind. I will say what I want, and I will protect my insides to and from. She is woman. Hear her roar with tones too odd to ignore. She's got things to say, and so do I. I'm drunk in um, a, uh, whatever, that Modelo Oro. You're drunk She's in back. Love. She's back. That's a Beyonce song. What? Drunk in love. No. Drunk in love. Drunk in love. Drunk in love. Drunk. Ah. When did you start? What? Now he's talking. Yeah, because he's almost done and he's confused at where he's going. And you just come over here and sit down knowing I'm going to have to get out. No, I'll get up again. I feel sorry for Ed with these pair. Kelly Joe. Yes, he's oh. really, he's having a tough time of it. He's doing so poorly. Kelly Joe. KJ. I am, KJ. I'm woman, hear me roar. Find some that, peace in love so in your soul. And open your mind and be kind, so, or else get the fuck out of my life. <laughs> there you go. Kark is fine, and I believe that Kark is Kark? eating dinner. I'm assuming it's Mark, but I like that. I've never seen it Kark. pronounced Kark. <laughs> I, I wish he was on to see that, because from now on, Mark is Kark. <laughs> What's up, Kark? He's gonna ask me what the hell's going on, but thank you for that, because I'm definitely gonna pull that one out. <laughs> You didn't even enjoy my rhyme. That was a rhyme. What was the rhyme? That was poetic justice right there. I'm woman, hear me roar. Yeah, but did you hear what else I said? Repeat it. I shit. cannot repeat that shit. I am. No, I I, re I did it. Do you know? Tell me who sings oh, that. Lord. I Helen said Reddy. Yeah, all right. Ugh, I hate How that about song. this? Let's see what else. No, she let's sing. not do. Let's not. Let's not play. Angie, baby, you're a <sighs> special lady. Living in a world of make-believe. Well, maybe. I'm probably dating the hell out of myself. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? I mean, I don't even know where that came from, but somewhere in the recess of my brain, that was there. 
Danielle's birthday is coming up soon. Thanks, Teresa. I, you know, it's not, I try not to be it's just with Ed. I'm, I'm, that, that's, that's what I'm trying to be as a person. I'm trying to change from what I was when I was younger and selfish and hedonistic and all the other things. So it's a work in progress. Ed is just the catalyst. My brown eyed girl. She's in there. I actually, you know, I used to listen to that song because Danielle has been a big brown, big dark brown eyes. He's got half a pot of I do keep in contact with face. Pedro. Oh, hello. And, and his family. Oh, Kelly Joe's gone. Oh, shucks. Shucks. The dementia became bad in the late 80s. If I was going to sing a Talking Head song, I would I would probably sing uh, Dan, it, Keeping the Baby Up. How were you able to retire to so young? Up all night. The exploitation of Grandpa. What What are you saying? Um, I retired young, not not over able. I had no choice. So my able. retirement had nothing to do with my dad. We I was retiring because I had I had a heart attack and I was killing myself at work with the stress. I was partying and and working. You know, crazy stress, stressful stuff to earn money to support her and whatever she likes. And it was, it took its toll. And I had a heart attack. And I, the doctor, doctor said, you know, if you continue on this, you, you will die. It's not, you know, it's not a secret. You're, you know, you're here with a heart attack. It's not a, it's not a, hey man, you know, it, it's a serious slap in the face. And so that's why I, that's why I started to retire. And that's, one of the things that enabled me to do what I'm doing with my dad. But that was a life-changing experience. And then dealing with my dad, those, the combination of those two things changed me as a human being. So what you see in the last couple of years is the, the evolution or you know, getting wiser or older or whatever you want to call it. Growing up, I, I think I grew up like in my late 40s. Danielle could get a job if she had to. She could get a job. I think some prints. In through the outdoor, outdoor. She wore a raspberry beret. And if it was warm, she wouldn't wear much more. It, it, the memory started going in, in the in this very Blue late 70s and, and, and 80s. How you doing, Kiki from Redwood City? Blue my grand, my dad's parents lived in Redwood City for many years. The, the entirety that, of my knowledge of my grandparents, they lived on Wesley Crescent off El Camino Real in Redwood City, not too far from the farmhouse, like Harry's Hofbrow, Lions, mm. Mighty crap. Lion Deluxe with my grandparents. Holy Pretty darn crap. good. The kind you find in a second hand store. <laughs> Money maker, I'm getting the A's. I mean, I you you cannot spin that in any negative way. I'm getting a major league baseball team. I wish it was the Giants, but you know, we'll we'll take the A's for three years. I get to see some major league baseball. You know what? Take your Phillies. That's where my dad's right. Take them now before you eat that. Huh? Take them now. Jackson Brown, running on empty, running on, or. I, my favorite Jackson Brown song is the yeah, is one of the theme songs to the the movie um, Fast Times at Richmond High. That's a great right. song. Yeah, she's got to be somebody's baby, all right. Lord, have mercy. Great, great song. You know, I, there was a good story about Jackson Brown. Somebody was telling it. I don't remember who, but you know, it was a, he was a, a celebrity by the time he was telling the story, but. He was telling it when he was new to the business. He and they, they stayed in this apartment complex. And it was like a lot of budding celebrities or you know wannabe yeah. celebrities, wannabe people in the entertainment business. And he, they happened to, to live above or below Jackson Brown. Oy. And he's all he was playing Doctor My Eyes when he was working on it. He's all I was going bananas because I'd hear Doctor My Eyes all day, all night, hundreds of times. He was playing it to perfect it. Imagine how cool that would be. Yes, leaks. You know, I love that count. Philadelphia Freedom. My favorite uh, Elton John song. Are we, are we singing? Madman Across the Water. Why do you guys do this to me? When are you gonna come down? When are you gonna learn? 
I should have stayed. We on shouldn't the have gone and on listened to if my this is what you're old man. Do. Oh, sorry, Kristen. I know you can't keep me forever. I didn't sign up for you. I got a present for your friends. Uh, Santorine, you sent me a pack. Rocket Man. Hey, hey. And Dan hasn't been in the office. I'm a rocket okay, man. Okay, enough. Oh, my ears, my head. Oh, hi, Jerry. Any other requests? No. How about Please some don't. Squeeze? Please, let's not. Black coffee in bed. What? Champion? Can we not? Ask the church and the people. <laughs> the laundry on the hill. Billboards and buildings. Memories of it still keep calling. Oh, I love Af Aqualon. And calling. Aqualon, my friend. Let's go get it all. Oh, my head is hurting. I know I will. Duct tape. Uh, Grandpa does not go to Mark's anymore. We have Grandpa. But he will time. be going to Mark's while we're in Cabo. Yes. Um, Grandpa sings with us. Oh, sings I, with I'm us. not. I, I have a tough time singing Robert Plant. I mean, <laughs> over the hills. I love listening to the song, but I'm. I'm. I don't have Robert Plant. <laughs> And there's a lady who's sure mm. all that glitters is gold. And she's, this is Bob Dylan. Sitting in my... Oh, that's not, that's, uh, that's not Bob Dylan. So Bob Dylan would be, old man, look at my life. I'm a lot like you are. Bruce Springsteen. People, Gotta go with Henry Hart. are just making fun of you. Made a left turn. I, you know, he goes out to drive. I don't remember the, all the words, but made a left turn. I know. And I never Lay, went I back. know. There's copyright infringements. I know. Yeah. But he doesn't ever listen. That's why I I'm always so. change the words. I'm sure that um, I change every yeah. word because I my, my <laughs> lyrics are hot. <laughs> Daniel said, that's right. That, you got my that's, what you're saying. You're right. That's not Bob Dylan. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. I'll give you real Bob Dylan. Where have all the flowers gone? And I know he may not have sung it, but he wrote it. Long time passing. Where have all the flowers gone? Long, long time ago. I'm just on my first beer, guys. It's nothing. Wait till you get the second and third. Then we'll be getting into like the Bee Gees and, you know, some good 70s rock. Neil Young, thank you for that. Old man I can't. Neil Young. I have the worst headache and he's singing right into my left ear. Right here. Ozzy has a new song now. He can sing still. Ugh, I did like Aqualong. I used to listen to that. I have to listen to that. I haven't Jethro? Jethro. I haven't heard him. Aqualong. Oh, fuck. Sitting on a park bench, eyeing little girls with bad intent. Did you hear the burp? Ugh. I have the worst headache. He's not helping. Uh, I can't stop him, Kate. I'm trying. <laughs> I I drank a big red with caffeine. No, you didn't. You had a drink. Well, I had to, and some iced tea too. So I had a little bit of caffeine. Quick, hi. I should have taken you all. I would love YouTube. I don't. Really I mean TikTok. Much I'll take the YouTube with me. TikTok can have them. YouTube, are you ready to go? Let me know. Peace at last. <laughs> You're ferning, so it's fine for you. <laughs> Samantha, I started a new book today. Confess. Confess? Colleen Hooper. <laughs> I am Mark. I am Mark. Dr. Uh, Dr. Hook? Is Dan a hippie back? I, I love Dr. Hook. Don't, because you've done it in the past. Oh, well, I, I do. I, I love Hook. When He's, you're in the Is your dog Are your dogs the, having a seizure? Take one take, take You watch your friends, you know you watch your friends, you know you watch your friends. How you doing from the UAE? Every person who's encouraging Dan, moderators block him. <laughs> um, it's just too the switch Amberlin, it was just too difficult for my dad at this point. Captain Jack's really We've had good song. Ed for over six months. <laughs> I, I you know I saw about Captain Jack, I heard that song. 
I did not know that was a Billy Joel song. I heard it in the pepper mill in Reno like 25 years ago. And it was already an old song by then. And I was sitting there listening to it. And I, whoever I was, I think it was Danielle. And I turned and I said, that sounds, that, that sounds like Billy Joel. And it turned out to be a Billy Joel song. What's the best line in Captain Jack, by the way? Your sister's out, she's on a date. Billy Joel does rock. We, I, this is the last concert I saw with Billy Joel. In fact, he's playing in San Diego, I think at the end of this month. My dad is, is right in the other room, Ocean. He's here, he doesn't go to Mark anymore. I don't, you know, what's, what does Bonnie Raitt sing? Come to my window. That's Mel Sathrich. No, well, what does Bonnie Raitt sing? I chopped up your car and put it in little pieces and took a baseball bat to your four-wheel drive. I mean, I'm not a big country. I don't know a lot of country. I like Garth. Under Kevin, do you know that's not how people work? Get dad. Okay, let me go down again. Hold on. Kevin, get the hell out of here. Turn down the bed, turn down the lights. Bed, turn down the lights. Turn down the bed, turn down the lights. I'm trying to, that's ringing a bell, but I was just not hitting anything. No, this is not karaoke night. I, I've never seen Garth. I would love to see him or have seen him, especially in the prime. Uh, Tom Petty, I, I wanted to see him the year before he died. Danielle we saw him. It. We saw him. We saw him. But we left. <laughs> we couldn't stop laughing. I cannot say that ferns were not involved that night. We, we left? We left because we couldn't stop laughing. Well, at we don't us. leave because we can't stop laughing. We, we must have had a reason. No, we could not stop laughing. Every time we turned I remember around, that. I remember. Every time at the shoreline. We were on the grass. <laughs> we were at the on shoreline. The grass. And every time we saw his face. He looked, you know, they, they did a close up of him and it was. <laughs> we couldn't, we just started busting up. It was just funny. He's it's kind, like, it it's like when we watch the fly. Bit. <laughs> and I'm pre-falling. <laughs> oh. oh, Goodman, I can't say that. Uh. Do you also have care homes? Um, I don't personally have care homes, but they are, they are here in California. Let me get, I want you to sit down. I don't want you to do a thing. Don't lift a finger. I want you to sit tight. What? She looks really young, Ed. and he looks, never mind. Go sit down. Thank you. I mean, it's like so bad you can't even put it in the words. My gosh, I mean, that, that really picks me up today. Uh, I, my kid went to UC Merced. We're from a couple hours north of there. Uh, he's not going to March because it's too difficult on my dad now. Um, you know, he gets up in the middle of the night. We're worried about falls, so... You know, his, his muscle memory of where the bathroom is here at our house, it's, it's, it's bigger, it's spread out, there's not as many hazards for him, and he doesn't have to go through the, the psychological change, which was really difficult, getting difficult for him. We did not get thrown out of the concert. We, I don't remember leaving. We left. You were stationed in Merced? In the military? I mean, they got Lamore over there, which ain't too far from Merced, but... I didn't know they had any military or anything in Merced. They have. They do have an airport. I will tell you that. I think they have a, a museum airport. Dan, did law school exams stress you out? How do I stop getting stressed out over school? You don't. It's normal to be stressed. I did not stress over law school exams, and I, it was one of the reasons I think I did fairly well in law school. Is I just I went about it. I read the cases. I did not get into the game gamesmanship with the other students. Every student feels the same, you know, the, the same, the, they have the same nerves and anxiety. Don't let it bother you, stay out of it, read the cases, you'll do fine. Jet, how was your, what was, what did you do today? I didn't understand what you told me you did. I don't know much country. I mean, I know Nepal, right? You got the Himalayas up there, you got the, the, the big tall mountain up there. Goodman, I used to be popular too. How you doing in Iowa, Claire? What? You're popular? No, Goodman said he used to be popular. Hi, Saints. Uh, Julie, I don't I don't necessarily post every day anymore, um, only because, you know, I've posted a lot of videos with my dad, and a lot of times what I'm gonna, you know, what the, the video I take is, I've already done it five times, so 
I'm, it, I, I'm not posting. In, That's dementia. I know, I know, but I'm, I'm not posting quite as much because I'm, I'm trying to just post videos that, you know, that mean something, that have something in it to watch, not just simply to post. Thanks, Sandra. Um, but, you know, the algorithm does, you know, pops up and down. A lot of people I watch, sometimes they pop off my algorithm and, I, and then I see them and I go, oh, wow, I, I missed you. It's just the way the algorithm works. I mean, it's just weird. You're really high for a while and then you crash and burn and then you go back again. It just, there's, there's no, there's no infinite wisdom on how it works. It is what it is. I'm at Mary's place. Uh, I go. Uh, Excuse me. My LaCroix always makes me burp. Hello from Texas. Coco Bean, she's out. Did Grandpa she, know there was a TV? She had, uh, she had her sil she had her caddy shot today, so she's she was a little um, sleepy and thirsty. She always gets really thirsty after a caddy shot. Carlo, I if I'm anybody idle, I'm I'm honored, but I'm He's not someone to be idled. Wow. <laughs> Ow. Poor Dr. Hook. Uh, no. Would you mind? No, please stop. Sharing the night. Sammy, you did? Good for you. Together. Hello in Hawaii. The pups are good. No carbonation? Oh. Yeah, they do upset my stomach a bit. Craig, the, it is, the, the brew is doing all right tonight. Mmm. Did I miss something? Oh, uh, I love beach Thanks show. for the heart puff. Somebody tell me how to dress now. Nicole, but you're down for your down there. Oh, okay. So I Terry, I'm you know, I'm right. gonna tell you something. I've noticed a lot more um individuals posting. Someone said your IG was hacked. About yeah, my IG. That's old news. Um, I have a new one. Um there is uh I've noticed a couple more people have come across my feed today and they're posting their Alzheimer's parent um and i can't say i'm a fan yet what are you talking about there's new there's a lot of creators now trying to do the alzheimer's thing and um i just the couple new ones that i've just seen i wasn't very i wasn't very pleased with some of the things they were sharing oh hi doe we miss you too I've ne I was never in the military, but I have been on the Kitty Hawk um, and no, been I'm on not an F-16. I'm not the only daughter-in-law. was epic. Maybe it was an F-14. Uh, Teresa, yes. People forget, you know, about the families that deal with it. You know, it's, it's, they focus more on the person involved, you know, the person with the disease. And it's, I think, a lot more heart-wrenching for the caregivers. Especially with this disease. Oh, your brother was on the Kitty Hawk? They used to, they called it I, the Shitty really? Kitty. It was an older ship. Can we look it's now me? decommissioned, but I was on it in San, in the San Diego Pier with my my, my best friend was a uh, is a military pilot. Hi, D. So F. back before nine eleven, we when it was still in service, we went on. It was really cool. One of the best ex funnest experiences Thanks, of my life. Paul. Yeah, there's. I mean, I think. I think at this point with the Alzheimer's, you know, social media stuff, you know, you're going to find the ones you like and you're going to find the ones that aren't so great. Uh, you know, I, I, it's really hard. I, when I I'm watch very, those, I'm very picky with what I think people should show. Just like I get criticized for all the time. But like there was, a, like I said, there was a couple new channels I saw and I was just a little off put with some of them. I was. In what way? Take a class on how to talk to In what way patients. were you? Um, you can't take play. a class. And if you know anything it, it, about the disease, instead of responding to one if you know, role, if you know about the disease, you know that each individual is individual. In what way were you off put? Of just the things they were showing. Like what? I mean, give well, me an example. I mean, um, I don't know. Somebody was showing today her mother using a piece of paper as a phone, and they were kind of giggling and. You know, like they were laughing about it because you have to, but I just not something I would have recorded. 
you know, that, to see her and she's like, well, can you pick it up? Cause I can't get to the person. And they took the, the, the flyer from the mail and they were doing it too. I just didn't like that. I thought it was just in poor taste. You know, it is something that happens, but there's certain things that we are picky about showing. Um, and this particular person, I thought just, it's just certain things you've got to leave behind. How many battles today? Um, I, um, I, I, I'm not so seen... far so good. No sharding. I just don't, I didn't think you saw that too. Yeah. I just didn't like it. It just gave me a bad taste in my mouth. And then I, there, I, I kind of went on and watched a couple of her other things and just to kind of see, and I just, uh, she didn't get a follow for me. You know, and that's the thing, everybody, like I'm not everybody's cup of tea either, but I just, there's certain things you just You were in Missouri, thank you for your service, Carla. Almost mocking. I, maybe that's what it was that just made me feel that way. I agree. Um, a little bit mocking. Um, and I try to, you know, we, we try to be very specific in what we show. There's just certain things I wouldn't record because I don't think, you know, you can talk about it, but it's not something... I, the way it was done, I just don't know. It rubbed me the wrong way. Well, I mean, dignity is one of the most important things. And, you know, you always have to understand that people with dementia cannot consent to what you're putting on. So it's all on the person who's recording. It's, if you don't exercise, I mean, you are, in essence, becoming their filter. I love Mary their filter. and Chris. And I, so don't, I don't think Chris... It's up to the, up to the filmer I to, don't to think, be careful about what they I don't filming. think Chris does anything that I've ever felt... I, I don't have any... I've, I've seen yeah. Chris. I, I have no problem with, with... You know, there are others that, that make me uncomfortable, but I don't have an issue with them filming. I just... You know, that's just not... And maybe that's, that's what me. it is. Some because of them I watch them. It's I something look more we at the caregivers. We, it's than, something we, but I just felt that that instance was a little mocking the way her son was in the room and the way she was. I just. It's tough it, to it, know. Uh, it's tough to know. You got to be. I, I love, I watched Josh, uh, Josh Pet with Betty, and I'm watching that, and it's, I don't have any issue at all with anything he posts. I, it is, it is disturbing to watch that, that right now because, you know, Betty is. As you would expect, she is, her disease is no, progressing. And to that. me, I just get sad watching the, 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 new, the newer videos. I love Bob and Josh. And I think Betty specifically, I mean, that's one channel. You have Josh who, who, who videos it. But what I love about Betty is I love the Bob, the, the, the Bob and Betty. It, it's a husband and wife of many decades who the husband is taking care of. And, you know, he does, the, Bob does most of the work, right? He's taking care of his wife, and that to me is what's special about that channel is watching Bob interact with Betty. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it is it, it's getting harder to watch, right? And that that affects the way I post too. You know, I look at that and I go, you know, I I don't want to post. You know, I don't want it to be a a sad, slow decline um it, it's just not something i want to you know it's not the story that i want to tell you know what's going to happen we all know the ending to the story Hi, Gary. everybody knows the ending it's just a matter of how you get there and, and you know not to be you know not to be um a downer on what people choose to show or what they want to show it's just i think if it rubs me the wrong way several times it's not something i want to participate in and I have that choice. And I don't leave a comment. I don't leave my opinions. I just scroll. I mean, I understand that what you see on the video may not represent at all what's happening. And so, you know, it's very difficult for me to, to make judgments like that. I push my dad in awkward positions. I don't, I try not to, to post him in awkward positions. How do you know they're awkward? Well, it, it, he has his opinion like you, and that's yeah. that's perfectly fine. But, but and if, I respect his but opinion. But again, if you have an opinion, you don't like it's agent it. Where he's here, we're talking about it. There's nothing wrong with with posting an opinion, and and you you may be. I mean, for you, that may be totally correct. I'm I'm I have limits of what I'll post, and and I won't. You know, and, and there's many 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 videos. The majority of videos that I take, I wouldn't post. It's just that's me personally. It's you my own get personal decision. Good men. Ah, I didn't. Doing? I didn't see 
I didn't see what you said about Yes. Yeah, you know, Mike, I mean, here's the thing. Um, everybody's journey with dementia and Alzheimer's is completely different, right? We all have our boundaries. We all have our expectations. We all have the things that, you know, we think are okay to show. Um, I, there's a lot of things I don't post because I don't think it's okay to show. Um, and you know, we all, it, who's to say who's right or who's wrong, I don't know. I just know that if, if there's something I don't like, I would never leave my opinion on somebody else's page. Um, because in the end, I know it's a hard job and everybody's doing the best they can and what they think and what they feel comfortable with posting may not be what I, and vice versa. But I'm just saying, there's a lot of, I'm very picky with who I follow. Um, because in my mind, I post the things that I think are relevant and that are kind and sweet um, and also parts of the disease, right? But there's things that I try not to do that are mocking or, you know, that may be in poor taste, right? Obviously, if I'm posting something, I don't think it's in poor taste. Um, and these people may not. Everybody's opinions are different. Um, everybody's, like I said, journeys are different with their loved ones. It's a plain matter of, of, of your personality and your household dynamics. And my household dynamics don't work for a lot of people. But I can tell you one thing. Um, I've never, ever take the time to comment on that because I know that that may be something that's okay for them and something it's important for them to share. I would never leave my opinion on that. Never, ever, ever, because I know it's different and I know everybody has their boundaries, plain and simple, but everybody feels the need to leave their opinions. <laughs> Cheers. Good night, Elizabeth. Hey, Tony. I'm glad you're able to, to watch. Where's Bill? I know what's the one thing I always know where Bill is. <laughs> that balutes and ginseng. What about the Everclear? <laughs> nice to meet you, Tony. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think it's awkward. I mean, we feel, you know, there's certain things that we post that we feel are awkward. And we wouldn't post them. I mean, we don't post the things that we feel are awkward to share. It's not, it's not, it's not, not awkward is the wrong word. If I don't believe it fits within, you know, my my dad's dignity, then I don't post it. For if, I, 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 yeah, his, his, what, his, what, I, what his level would be, that's what I try and employ. I, if, if he wouldn't have wanted it 20 years ago, I won't post it. And, you know, my dad was really open and... Not vain at all. So I'm I'm 100% certain my dad would not have an issue with what we're posting, especially given the fact that it is helping a lot of people. And I know that he would appreciate that aspect of it. Thanks for the corn. It is Bucky's. It is. I, I've never been there, but I'm definitely going to go. My dad is not sleeping yet. He ate. He's sit watching TV right now. Uh, I mean, sometimes the, the disease takes a, a weird Why or violent Why was Jerry kick. timed out? What? Jerry shouldn't have been timed out. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking to YouTube. You're talking to YouTube? Yeah. Jerry should never be timed out. He doesn't ever say anything. Uh, my Jerry. Um... My thoughts on string theory. Um, string theory is is uh, an area of physics. It's a it's a it's a, a new like a, times are hard for us. It's not so hard. It's an area of physics that deals with the at the you know sub micro microscopic level at the atomic level of uh, of you know whatever the makeup of atoms and quarks and things like that. And I don't really have enough knowledge to, to give you my opinion on string theory. Come on. I'm aware it exists. Come on. Past that. Come on. What are you doing with that cat? Can you get me a Modelo? There's one left in the door outside. 
Lori, we have plenty of time for ourselves. I mean, I do not regret what I'm doing at all. I do. I have no fear of missing out or FOMO um, because I spend time with my dad. You know, even if my wife is off at the casino and I'm home with my dad, or she's off with her friends and I'm home with my, I have I have no fear of missing out anymore. I would have ten years ago, but I'm way past that. So I I, I do I feel I don't have I, this is just my life. So it's not like I feel. And if, and if Dan needs time away, you know, I'm home. He can take the time. Just like and Thursdays when I go to the casino, he, I, I want that time. If he wanted time, he can also get his time. And then we can have time together if we need it with Mark. Um, so, you know, I need it more than he does, obviously. And I, I will tell you, uh, Jenny, what you see, people can talk about my dad's parenting. What I'm employing, what I learned, I actually learned from my mom. My value system and my desire to, to with family stems from my mom's experience. And my dad is obviously 100% all about family. So, you know, those two things combined. Uh, my dad was very similar to what you see now, just maybe not as sweet, right? Not as... Um, endearing as, as he comes across. But he was very similar. Um, Tyler, I like Elk Grove. I mean, it's my it's my home now. Um, I mean, I, I, I always, you know, my hometown is Saratoga in the Bay Area, and I'll always feel like that's my actual home. But, you know, my second home is Elk Grove, and, that's, and, I'm, and I'm pretty comfortable here. Thanks for the corn. And thank you for the follow. If, if a quick follow would be greatly appreciated. And my dad is 100% family oriented. And my mom is, is too, 100%. I mean, it's all about her family. That's all, she's, that's all she's worried about. Thank you so much for the followers. Appreciate it. The most challenging, Don, is the fact that it just never ends. That's really the most challenging. You, you get past one incident and you're on to the next. And it's not a process that will ever end until he, you know, is taken out in a box. It, it will be that way. That's just, just that, that's in we, and of itself. We didn't see the eclipse, but, um, cause we didn't have it here in California, but um, he watched it on the TV, but he doesn't remember. Justin, my dad's doing actually really well. He's really doing well. Any advice on handling sundowners? Just deep breaths. Deep breaths and, and, and worry about yourself. The way I look at get sundowning, it's not whether the patient can get through it, it's whether the caregiver can get through it. Mm -hmm. And if the caregiver can get through it, the patient will be fine. The repeats are tough. Yeah, the repeats are tough. And you know every time of the day, you know, for Ed anyway, there we could outline his whole day. We know what questions are coming mom, yes. based on the time of the day. So sometimes you already anticipate it and you're already getting frustrated, right? Because you know it's coming. You hear his feet. And you know the questions are coming. There's a, there's a bit of truth to that. You know, when you're sitting there and you're relaxing and you hear the shuffle coming, you know it's coming. And you just have to sit there and you have to deal with it. It's going to come in. It could be about Bill. It could be about his keys. It could be about dinner. It could no, be about my know, car. You know the times and you know when those questions are being asked. Well, I can they're tell different. you. They're different every not day. Not really. Really, they are. Not I mean, me. Well, he gets on different loops. I mean, I might know that day, but I won't know the day before, whatever loop he's going to be on. You know, the other day you saw the video, it was about, I was Mark. And that was his loop. I was Mark. Yeah, how are you doing down in New Orleans? I heard there was some flooding down there. I hope everything is okay. Thanks, Mr. Jake. Yeah, can the dogs come out? Uh, yeah, I think they can come out now. Um, did I serve in the military? I will tell you, I have served my country, but I did not serve in the military. Yeah, I got involved in things I can't talk about after 9-11. Uh, Judy, the repeating is not the most difficult aspect. It might, sometimes, it, <laughs> Mary Blueberry, sometimes it, 
um, the, the repetition can get frustrating and, and, and you know, it might get a reaction. It might, you know, it might cause me to blow up, but it is not, by far, it is not the most difficult. Because when he's repeating, he's typically, <laughs> dog the bounty hunter, I, I did watch that. Um, it, when, when he's repeating, it's, it's frustrating, but it's not as difficult as, where's my brother Bill? Right, because you got to deal with emotion and how you respond, you know, to where is Bill and how he reacts to the news if you have to tell him that he passed. Those are some of the most difficult times, or when he's really scared and you can see it in his eyes, when he has fear or panic, or he's really doing bad. Those are the most difficult times for me. When he's repeating, they're tough, but I'm not emotionally like. Oh my God, my heart's not going out. You know, I, 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 I just deal with the repetition. It's frustrating, but it's much more, it's much more difficult to deal with the horrible emotion or fear that can come out of him that from time to time. Uh, he's sitting on the couch watching TV right repetition now. Repetition could be hard for me. Repetition's frustrating, I mean, but I don't it's want, not the I hardest. Don't, I don't want to make people think that that's it's, not... It's just not, for me, it's not the you hardest. Have, you have to classify when, you know, for Often you. when he's being re re repetitious, He's assertive and he's, you know, demanding. And that makes it a little more easy. Dad, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But when he's like, you know, terrified or he doesn't, you know, if he doesn't know who I am or that I'm related family, those moments are the most difficult for me. Why don't we lie sometimes? We do. You lie all the time. I, I, there's but no, when we, but when it's we, all about keeping them emotionally steady. But and sometimes when we tell the truth, it's because the lies weren't working before that. Yeah, if I could, if I could lie about the, his brother, like just now, he asked I would me. Lie he asked me where time. his brother was, and I said he's asleep. He can't talk right now. I lied, and, 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 it, works, and it worked right now. If it works, it works. So but. a lot of times when you see my videos, and I'll say it's my house, it says he knows it's our house. And for Ed, the reality orientation for knowing it's our house, because when it's our house, oh, keep the lights on then. I got you the know? gate bell after uh, after he fell. That we, we has not taken, we've not taken a walk without that belt since his fall. You guys have to understand that every situation is different. And every, I am retired, anonymous, anonymous. And that, um, yeah, sometimes, Keith, but with Ed, he knows. That's the problem with Ed, is that every person is different, so you have to understand. Sometimes, and, and every day is different. If, if we can get away with a lie that will ease his mind, we will lie. If we can't get away with it, you eventually have to tell him the truth or he will drive you crazy. But we don't lie about asking. the house because he knows it's our house. And there's, it's, a, yeah, there's a reason. And there's that. a lot of reasons why we say it's our house because he lets things go. He wants to elicit rules. He wants to do all these things. That, that's, right. It, it's, it's, that's why it's not his house because he, he would impose his rules. He still throws his Yeah, but when I tell him it's my house, the yeah, lights are on, yeah, he's like, all right, all yeah. right, all it, right. It does get him off. And sometimes I'll tell him, out of the kitchen, and he'll sit and stare at me, mug me, and I'll say, Kim, this is my it, house, my rules. All right, all he's right. He's advanced. He's not mild. So this is a, an advanced uh, stage of... Ruthie, did advantage. you just not hear what I said? The rules could be... Um, the lights are all off, or you need to go to bed, or... You know, stay out of the kitchen. Whatever, turn the heat down. I mean, whatever rules he would have, he would he would impose his rules, and he's done that his whole life. So it is, you, it is clearly he likes complete control. He he was he was a control <coughs> control person, not like you know trying to control my life, but as far as in his house, he liked to control it. Mm -hmm. And people, Ruthie made a comment. Um, and she's saying, I speak too harshly to him. Ruthie, just because your mom has dementia doesn't make you a professional. Oh my God. So everybody Listen. has their way of talking to their people. I speak very firm to him. She's off. When... She's off. So you don't have to respond. She got removed. I mean, I, I don't like all just responding to negative no, comments. All we're time, not all just day. responding, but people need to understand who obviously don't understand what it's about. I was not the water boy. We had water girls on our team. We had we had uh, cheerleaders that came out with the water. Just sit here and not talk.
because Dan knows better. No, I just don't like just dwelling on but negative all the time. But obviously, nobody's dwelling on negative. She's gone. But she's not on also here. also have to realize. We said it over. We already said it. No, we didn't. Times. We didn't talk about. Go ahead. Never mind. I know I'm going to go get more water. All right. Good God. You're obnoxious. Yeah, this marriage. I we we don't. I mean, I'm gonna sit here. I don't want to just talk about or respond to trolls. And we had so many great people and so many great questions and um, such good interaction. I don't want to waste it on. Nobody's wasting it. I mean, you need to open your mind and stop being so close-minded. You're like a troll. I'm a troll. You are a troll. I'm definitely not a troll. Keep talking since you want to have it. I, I will. I'm just I'm you. Needed. What you do is you encourage the trolls by saying that. All right. I, I, I want to move off the, they keep off saying, the troll stuff. They keep saying, good job, Dan. I agree with you. I know. And you can't ignore it. Oh, so move on okay, to something I'll else. Hi, Coco. You feeling better? I, I know. I, I, that's just the way it is. I don't know who Chris Stapleton is. see who can remain silent the longest. I can't stand up for myself and it pisses me off that he doesn't let me. It's it, it's just ridiculous. I, I, I let you. It's just no, you at don't. some point it gets ridiculous. Really? When's the last troll I responded to? I, the whole night has been responding to Really? Trolls. We do agree a lot but we also when we disagree we don't sit silent. We do we vent our disagreements and right now we're doing it in front of 2,000 people. And you cater, and seven, another 700. And you event. cater to your people. My people? Yeah. I'm not yeah. catering to anybody. I'm you just did. I'm being you, myself. But you did by doing that. I can't and talk about what mind, I did for the government. What you did it was, is just I, I, will, it. I will tell you in general. You. you know. Um, after 9 11, there were a lot of potential or what people believe might be threats. So I did certain things. Um, for the government that and the program is, is, is done and shut down now but um, they had to have they had to have real people doing certain things um, they had to have you know so, so that if if anybody did research it would come back and it would look like it was something that was done legitimately by a person even though it might have been you know not real Gear Bear, I don't have any, I just did wh whatever task was asked of me. I did not, I have no idea what was being done. It was, you know, I, I, it was a need to know basis. You knew just what you needed to know. So I did what I was told and that was what I did. I have no idea what happened or, you know, what, what the other aspects or purpose of the program were. I just did what I was told. And I did it out of, you know, that my, they asked me to do it, so I did it. Is there a barbecue? Oh, well, we don't know how long TikTok will be here. Excuse me. <laughs> we can bitch tomorrow, yes. <laughs> We're going to Cabo, uh, Mexico for Daniel's 50th. Jackie, it's nothing that would in any way excite anybody. What I did was remarkably boring. Um, so it's not anything that would would excite anybody or it, it, that wouldn't make for an interesting story, even if I could talk about it. It was very boring. No, shall you? George, I'm, I'm glad you, you know what you're talking about. I know, about. Robin, I need to do more Millie Pig videos. 
His mom's fine. Um, if they shut down TikTok, they shut it down. There's, there's not much we can do. We'd be on the other apps, that's all. It is summer is coming. Danielle did the trip, Kristen. Um, actually, Danielle, her sister-in-law helped plan it for my gift. And I'm just paying for it. Because she's like, I don't want you to have to plan it. I'll do it because it's your birthday. You think he's going to do anything? No. I don't, I don't, I don't know what will happen with with TikTok. I can't imagine that that that, that anything is going to happen before the election. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine it. After the election, I'm a bit more worried. I got married at 23. 23. Hi, Laura. No. No. I'm incredibly no, romantic. He's not romantic. No. No. I I am remarkably romantic. I mean, it, it. If you look at romantic in the dictionary. All right. So, are you? Do, what do you? Do you want to stay on? Do you want to get off? What do you want to do? V. Frazier, I know. I'm. I'm. I'm patiently waiting. Patiently waiting. Uh, May 5th is my birthday. Yeah, that, that thing's going to come. That, that's in an hour, so you've been on an hour. What do you want to do? Do you want to stay on? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? I, I mean, I can I don't, eat dinner. I don't, uh, with my husband, gee, watching. A uh, happy watching birthday to your home. daughter. I'm a Taurus. Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> Uh, Rosie, we we would we could bring on other people. It's just that typically, when we've done that in the past, they're you know they're they're on here to battle or what have you. I mean, I brought if there's if someone has something to say, I'm happy to bring somebody on. If there's something going on in your life or some announcement you want to make, I will. You're May sixth. Uh huh. Laura keeps asking you, what was your most favorable childhood memory with your dad? My, I mean. My, my best memory, I believe, if I had to pick one memory, would be January, uh, would be uh, July 4th, 1976. Um, we had a giant block party. It was just a year or two before my family fell apart. And it was, everyone was together. You know, my, all my siblings were there and, and all their friends, all my friends, all, the, all of our neighbors. We had a giant block party and we had fireworks and sparklers and hot dogs and hamburgers and that is quite honestly my best memory and I know the day that it happened the July 4th 1976 it was an absolutely the, the, it's, it's really weird when your life when you peak when your best memory is like at eight years old but that is that was my best memory of my, of my childhood with my dad. How you doing in Tel Aviv and Ireland? My dad's dementia started about 15 years ago. My mom did not work until she got divorced. Then she went to college, graduated from college, then she graduated from, from she got a graduate degree, and then she went to work. All right, so guys, I think that's got to be about it, unless you want to stay on. You want to stay on? I'll, I'll stay on a little bit with my YouTubers. All right, so I'll let her, well, you can stay on both if you're going to stay on with YouTube, right? Um, I mean, I can for a little bit, I guess. Okay, you got it. Sorry, I just got pictures on my one of my rentals and put a... No, I, I think I had a great life, Gina. I can't complain. I mean, I had a lot of, you know, difficult issues and difficult days and weeks, but... All in all, I, I certainly can't complain. I mean, I've been lucky. I've been lucky. <laughs> I will soon. Leslie, I will get soon. Uh, yes. With a lot of Tauruses. Uh, my family was, my, I didn't really have much, many memories with my dad's side because I wasn't, I was kind of the forgotten Behar, but, um, and that's a complicated thing, but 
Um, my mess, my my most favorite memories with my mom or with my grandparents. My grandparents. Um, one, I was close with my parents, but they're both dead, so not anymore. Um, I do have a good renter. We only have one rental left, and he was just sending me pictures of something that uh, had a really complicated situation with the house. I hired somebody to do a new roof. Um, and the guy that I hired subcontracted it out and never paid the subcontractors. So now I'm trying to figure out how that's gonna work. Cause normally they warranty a roof. So I don't know how that happens. <laughs> oh, so I've got more drama I gotta pay attention to. Um, yeah, Tina, this guy's pretty good. He's been in the house for three years. Um, and he's a young guy and he does a good job with, but I just don't know. Yeah, it's a mess. And so he's sending me stuff and he's like, they replaced fascia, it's not painted, which means I'm going to have to hire somebody to go out and do that because I don't think that's gonna work the way we need it to. So anywho, I, so as, um, so that just came through. So my mind's like thinking, what am I gonna do, you know? Um, Dan's not coming back, Travis, so if that's a problem for you, you should probably leave. Yeah. Um, 2 a.m., Tara, good night. Uh, anywho. YouTube, you can stay on. I'm going to get off on TikTok. Yeah. So, TikTok for Dan, if you know me and you have my YouTube, join my YouTube, but I'm getting off on the TikTok because it's just time. Anyhow, love you guys. If you see me, um, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. I had to get off because people were pissing me off. Um, so it's us, we are alone. We can have some fun. They were great. Oh, nervous there. Yeah, so now I'm just stressed out because I don't know who you call for the warranty if there was a conflict like that. Do I call the roofers that... Do I call the roofers that didn't get paid? Oh, I don't know. Hi guys, yes, just hop over because I'm done. I know, Jennifer, did you hear my problem? I hired somebody who actually lost his license and I didn't know that. Um, and he subcontracted the roof out um, and the subcontractors never got paid. So, I don't know what to do. Um, so, I don't know. Uh, no, Sonia, I did not know they were subcontracting yet. Um, you were probably, but since you did business with Contra, that's who you call, I know. So I'm going to put a call out to him and say, hey, you know, and see what happens. So I've got, if not, I'm going to have to get it figured out. But, um, the guy who rents it is pretty, um, the guy who rents it is a really good guy. So I'm just going to have to eat the cost because I think that I'm screwed. Uh, who am I saying? I don't know. It's so weird. Maybe it's a state law there. I don't know. Yeah, I didn't know he was subbing it out. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So, yeah. So, I think I'm just going to have to, um, grin and bear it and have somebody come out and fix it just because it's not worth the hassle of trying to, unless I contact the guy and see if he responds to me. You know what I mean? I don't know. Um, I hate renting. And we used to have, um, we used to have um, numerous properties, but when Dan being sick and the heart attack, we had to sell a lot of properties to just make ends meet, right? To live um, when he wasn't working. So 
Um, we only have one left and I can't say that I wasn't happy about that because I managed the rentals on top of everything out, um, on top of everything else. And it was just, it just always something goes wrong. And the houses we own are really old um, cause they're in an older community. And so it just, yeah, it is a headache. It is a headache. Um, and so it's just one more thing, you know, I've got to stress out about, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to reach out to the contractor and see what he says, because technically I don't know he subcontracted it out. Right. So we'll see what he says. And if it doesn't go anywhere, then at that point, um, then I'll just have, you know, so did you get a bid? Uh, um, I got a bid from the guy who was supposed to do it, but he didn't do it. So the, um, the contractor, the subs reached out to us. He left a note on the door and basically said, I was never paid for my job. Well, you're going to have to go to small claims for that because I paid it out. I have proof of me paying the contractor that wasn't subbing from my experience. So I do have a written estimate. Uh, yeah, I can't stress out about it. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is, you guys. I've just learned to, you just have to go with the flow and not shit. Oh, this world. Yeah, so the subcontractor left it on the rental house, and he, yeah. yeah. Uh, I have to hire some push Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna pay for someone to do it. But I have a contractor here, and he'll take care of it, you know? He'll take care of it, which is nice because I can trust him and I know he'll do. But yeah, so professional. Oh, fuck. I mean, you never know these days, you know, and then Dan, you know, gets mad at me and I'm like, I mean, what can I do? I can only do so much. I think I'm getting somebody, but I didn't realize now you have to look in everything, you know, you have to, whoever you hire, you have to really do, you know, the due diligence, I guess these days, because you really can't trust people these days. My back is a little bit better, Jolene. Um, oh, Sally, thank you. Um, my back is better. Uh, any plans for 420? No, Dan does though. Uh, on your property? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Sons is not talking to random. No, Dan is not talking to random people online. He's putting his dad to bed. Kind of with an ID number. I'll make them with a no. Oh, okay. I will do that, Jenna. And yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know, you know? He was a local guy. I thought, anyhow. Oh, it's, it's hard. Oh, you were reading, I know. And Stacey, I've been doing a lot of yard work. I ha my yard is now, you know, when spring hits and everything's in full bloom, my yard, this is a time where my yard takes a lot of time because I have a lot of property. I've got a lot of things that need to be tend to and so. Oh, good, Nikki. I'm glad. Uh, anyhow, so that's it. The day was um, very busy. I got a lot accomplished, everything that I needed to um, accomplish. Um, I read for about an hour. I had a glass of wine when I read. Um, and I'm super tired. Uh, did you know the contractor? No. No, Sarah. I don't know who he subbed out to. No. Uh, so anyhow. I don't know. I think I'm already rid of it. assistance and give them 30 days to comply and pay to subcontractors. Well, and that's what they need to do where there isn't a contract with the sub. Yeah, there wasn't a contract with the sub. It was more the sub's problem, right? Because he entrusted, you know, Dan wasn't worried about it because the subcontractor, I mean, that was his deal. <laughs> he should have known better. But anyhow, I mean, what do you do? just more drama to add to the the shit you know um yeah yes i am looking forward to a little relaxation i have to get up early in the morning because i have my um my physical therapy on my jaw um and then i'll come home and shower and yes yeah, between the two of them yeah uh what does dan say as a lawyer he was mad at me for not knowing any better. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't even know if I want to go that far. You guys, I don't even know if I just want to do that. Uh, yeah, I, I have to, Laura. Um, I have to, <laughs> I can't, 
can't stop. It doesn't matter. Like my jobs don't stop. You know, you're turning the 50 in two weeks and it's going to be on the other side of the country at the, <laughs> that's kind of a present in and of itself. <laughs> uh, subscriber live. I don't know tomorrow. Night. I don't know. It depends on how my day is. Uh, thanks Andrew. I appreciate it. I'm looking forward to Mexico. I really am. It's three weeks away. Am I bikini ready? No, but I don't know. Right. How do I know? Uh, where are you from? I'm from Nashville originally state controller con contractor board step before small claims. I don't, yeah, I don't No, Thank you. I, it just, that's more work than I don't want. I'd rather pay. <laughs> I'd rather pay than to deal with that. So I'll have my contractor. I'll tell my contractor what's going on and he'll go and fix it. Yeah. Uh, or he'll, he, he knows the, per the person who came in to fix my roof. I can always hire them and do it there too. It's just not worth, I don't want to do all that hassle. I don't have time for the hassle, you know? Um, although it's just a ugly predicament because normally you can call the roofers and be like, Hey, what's the <laughs> shingles were blown off. Uh, give them a call. Oh yeah. I, should, I could do that too. Hi Jazz, how are you? Uh, what do you do for work? Um, Liam, this is my work. <laughs> Social media, taking care of my family, my house, and everything in between. <laughs> um, that's a lot of work. Um, I don't have time for a job outside. <laughs> um, so that's what I do now. And lo luckily social media gives us a little bit of, you know, financial reprieve so we can support and do our stuff and be home and take care of this shit, right? Um, I don't want to make Dan's back. <laughs> my day has been busy. My week has been very busy. Um, I have a lot of, you know, I enjoy working out in the yard. It gives me a peace of mind. Gets me some like clear headedness. I listen to music. I just unwind. Yeah. So it's great. Am I rich? Who asks questions like that? Uh, as you said, you own property. Uh, uh, we had properties, yes, as investments. Um, Dan bought them. I took care of them. Uh, before I quit working, I was a manager of a daycare center. Beats out right here. <laughs> Sally, there's no other way. Um, is there anything you wanted to do for your birthday? Um, I, to me, 50 was, I just think it's a big, like I, my 40th birthday, I plan my own 40th birthday party. <laughs> um, um, at a, at, at a local winery in Lodi. Um, and 50, my sister-in-law pretty much planned it and found the place and I just paid for it. So, um, I'm, you know, it is what it is. I've never had, um, anybody surprise me with anything like that. I've always had to do my own work <laughs> to do it. This is what I'm doing. And everybody just is like, okay, I don't know if it, it, that's just the reality of it, you know, um, on a boat. That's fun. Yeah, I have to pretty much plan my own shit. <laughs> um, my family, uh, I'm in pre perimenopause. Yeah, um, I'm already in it. <laughs> Jen, <laughs> this has been the worst like two years of my life. And this last year has been the worst in it. Um, my favorite flower is sunflower. That's my favorite flower. I love sunflowers. They've always given, they just make me smile. They're bright and they're beautiful. Uh, uh, have no thoughts on stem cell research. I just turned 30 and did nothing. My three kids made me cards. <laughs> Sounds about right for 30. For 30, I have to tell you, um, I was pregnant with Andrew. So I was 29 when I got pregnant and I was 30. Um, and I went to Tahoe, which is one of my favorite places to go. Um, and I had a group of friends with me and I drank O'Doul's because I couldn't drink and I had gas. So that was my 30th birthday. 40 was my winery. My brothers came out, which was fun. 50 is going to be me and two of my kids. Cause Jennifer is, um, she has, she's in the middle of finals for law school. So she is not going to be there, which will be a bummer. Oh, Richie Q. Thank you. I love you. Um, and I love it with ferns <laughs> or I can sing to you, Sally, either way. Um, and it's going to be Josh, 
and Rocky um, and their kids, which is really honestly, that's all I need. That's all I need. I'm happy. If all my kids were there and all, um, and Josh and Rocky and their kids, I'm happy as a clam. I, you know, I'm, I'm good. That's for me. That's happy. Um, yeah, Sally. Well, you got to let us know when's your birthday? Two weeks. So you're at the end of April, Sally, because my birthday's in like three. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, Dan's staying home. No, <laughs> he's coming with. <laughs> he's coming home. I mean, he's staying. He's he's coming with. Twenty fourth. Okay. Uh, Hannah's is the twenty third. Hannah's birthday is also in April, but she's not a Taurus. She's not a Taurus. I think she's right at the. Um, do you ever or ever use markup? I don't know what that is. Andrew can't get in. Sometimes the um, the thumb thing doesn't work very well, and then you gotta put in the. I, I'm not at a hundred thousand yet. And almost, right, Rich? I'm almost at a hundred thousand. Um, I should be. I know. Uh, makeup. I think they meant. Are you a makeup? What does makeup mean? Oh, your Andrew is on the twenty third. Yeah. Uh, I see. Uh. Yes, I'll get my plaque. You're a Taurus? Really? I didn't think Hannah was a Taurus. Pre-party. <laughs> uh, they say, do you ever use makeup? Oh, makeup. <laughs> Got it. Um, makeup, as far as I go with makeup, sometimes is mascara um, and bronzer. I'm not big into makeup. I'm just too lazy, honestly. Um, I don't wear <laughs> makeup. <laughs> Uh, I'm at a hundred. That means I made, I, uh, on this live, I got over a hundred. What? I did. I made it. I don't know about that. I, when I, before I got on, I think I was like 99, 800 and like 80 or something. Oh, uh, Rich says he sees a thousand, a hundred. I did hit it. What? I did. Good morning in Indiana. Woohoo! A Taurus? Okay. I don't know. I hit it. Woohoo! You well, Allison helped us. <laughs> I um I have to go pee pee. Hold on a second. That's cool. I've been waiting for that all week. Dan, can you talk really quick? Everybody's saying I just hit a hundred thousand on YouTube. Electric for short trips. Did you hear me? Yeah. Can you, I have to pee. Where's your dad, in bed already? Yeah, hello. I'm sitting here playing. And whole series of poker. So 22 million in chips here. Oh, then you'll hit. She's gonna get that mic. They send like a silver mic out. It's pretty cool. She turned off my TikTok, I guess. I don't know why. If she's on, why not? Um, supper is going to be delicious. Um, I don't know exactly what I'm going to have, but I do have a, I have a, a couple of Taco Bell items, which are going to be pretty cool. Um, and maybe some salad. Uh, 22 million is, it's just, it's nothing. It's just chips on uh on on this you know free poker thing that i play it's just video it's just poker i'm playing with other people on world series of poker let's see five six seven eight do you get like re do you get revamped like how do you get it it's just sure. I, I win so i don't have to worry about that's exciting i didn't think it was ever going to come my hundred thousand I didn't realize. I was like, ah, tomorrow when I wake up. Because, you know, YouTube is different. YouTube is different than, like, TikTok. You grow quicker on TikTok than you do YouTube. It's just weird how the different platforms are so different. Um, and what's the name of that squad thing? You... What? What thing? I don't know. 
Um, <laughs> Camilla, you've been watching a uh, squatty thing you are wearing. What? The squatty thing? I don't know what you're saying. Your husband plays that? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's exciting. I just thought, eh, I'll get it by tomorrow, maybe. Um, so that I showed for you, Les. <laughs> yes, I made it to the other side. I made it to the other side. I'm rocking it. Man, that, you know, I... You know, the, the, the YouTube story was such a, an interesting thing for me. Um, I really wasn't going to do, I'll, t I'll just tell you a quick, uh, I'll tell you a quick story about YouTube. Um, so I wasn't going to do it. And we had this guy who helped us. Some of you know the story. We had this guy that helped us um, start up our whole, like, um, at the beginning of our social media journey when I started um, he came on and he helped us with our website and he helped us um, do all this stuff, right? To, to, we, had, we had merchandise and we had, you know, all these different things, right? He started the Salinger Farm website uh, or the Salinger Farm YouTube thing. Um, and at that point we had allowed him, we had allowed him to do it because he was part of our, our journey. He was doing things for us, right? We were kind of working in tandem. And so we had said, Hey, since you don't ask for money, um, you know, or anything, just tick. Sorry. I don't know what happened. Are we back yet? Are we back yet? Okay. Um, so sorry, it was glitching. Um, so we told him, um, Daniel, I have two women that are chasing me. They're dinosaur hookers. Advice. Run. Run, Rich. Run. Run. Um, and so he helped us. So we said, you know, if you want to, if you want to make some additional money, since you're not making any from us, cause we weren't paying him, open up your account. So we allowed him to open up that account. Right. Um, and it was the Salinger farm. So if any of you follow that account, um, on YouTube, he's the enemy at this point. So he started doing really weird things and he started doing things that I didn't know. Like he started using a subscription, um, which he charged for a subscription on there. I had no idea. Um, he started selling merchandise um, through there. Had no idea. And then things started happening and unraveling and then we finally got rid of the guy. Um, so it pissed me off. And so I started YouTube, right? Because I was pissed and he was still collecting money and may still be collecting money from that account. I don't know. Um, because unless you close it down, I think it still generates money. I think that's the way TikTok, tick, uh, YouTube works. I don't know. I don't really, you already ate. So I don't know why you're barking at me. So needless to say, I was pissed. So I was like, I'm opening my YouTube. This is ridiculous. <laughs> He's not going to be making money from me when I'm doing all the work, he's doing nothing anymore. And so that's when I started YouTube because I was like, fuck this shit, you know? Um, and I try to take my account back and try to take, you know, my power back with doing that. So um, I'm very fortunate that I've had, yes, I've had, I've, I've learned a lot in this journey. I've learned to not trust as much anymore. <laughs> um, I've learned to be cautious. Um, and I've learned that today, in today's world, things aren't so, um, everybody, there's an agenda. There's an agenda. Oh, thanks, Sue. I didn't know that. Um, there's an agenda for most people. So, um, it, to me, it was like trying to get, it was that race to beat him, right, in the amount of subscribers. To me, it was, yeah, FT, fuck. Um. So to me, it was, it was trying to beat him at his game, right? I wanted to overpower him knowing how he was charging people for subscriptions. And as we found out with my fucking roof too, right? Hi peps. Um, and you know, I'm just sad. I'm just sad that, you know, there's, there's, there's so many dishonest people out there and there's so many people who are out for themselves without any thought as to what the damage um, accrues for others, you know? And so 
yeah, but you know, there's some things you don't, you don't, you don't fuck with, right? Um, this guy, I hope, has enough sense to leave things alone, um, due to his past. But you know, you just never know how far people are willing to push it. It doesn't matter. You know, people think, well, Dan's a lawyer. Why would they? Why would they take advantage of somebody who's an attorney? Um, <clears throat> and they don't care. You know, when you're a narcissist, um, you don't care. You, you, you don't care about the power other people may hold. Um, yeah, parrots. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, well, we were, Justin. It was, everything was going well until it wasn't, right? It was going great until about a year later and things started happening that weren't cool. Um, and then at that point, you have to evacuate and abort the mission. And we had an abortion. We have to um, uh, abort the mission. So uh, he still has, he still has our old merch for sale. He's still doing those things on different levels. Um, and I haven't seen those things being taken down. So he's still trying to mooch and make money off of us. So it is what it is. It, you know, sometimes, um, the hassle of going after people just for principles is not, um, it's not, it's just not worth it. I don't want to take the time, you know, it did Justin, it motivated me. Um, yeah, no pun intended. <laughs> um, so I, you know, it teaches me, right? Everything is a learning experience. And that's what, um, why would he even, I don't know, Natalie, because he thinks he has people tricked. Um, and why not? You know, if it makes money, if it's generating him income, then why not? You know, um, I am proud, you know, I, geeky girl, you know, I am proud because it's a lot of work. You know, it's a lot of, um, you could, it's a lot of work to do social media. Social media is not an easy thing. Everybody says, oh, it's so easy, you know? No, it's not. Um, you know, trying to come up with content and trying to keep things alive and kicking and less redundant, you know, all those types of things is really hard. And also, um, it's difficult to, um, and then the abuse you get, you know, the constant criticism you're under, the spotlight, you know, everybody's nitpicking everything about you, your hair, your nose, your, your features, your, your body, your, you know, and it weighs people down. People get overburdened with the bullshit. Um, and that's why I find it's very important to speak my mind. You know, my husband doesn't like it. Um, but you know, for me, it's important for who I am. It's important for who I am. To, to, to push it back to others, to make people think about their comments, to make people think about maybe their inability to reflect on themselves and to um, point out the ignorance of, you know, eyes closed. And I always say that, eyes closed, you know? People who cannot relate, people who want to sit and throw out criticisms and ugliness and be bullies, I mean, that's nothing, that reflection is not on me. It's on the person themselves. And that's all I'm trying to prove to everybody is that, you know, you know, people think I'm harsh. People think I'm harsh. I'm not harsh. I am who I am. Um, stop looking, you know, at, um, stop looking at me, you know, stop, look at the whole situation. And I try like with these other accounts, you know, all these other accounts, um, that, you know, come out showcasing their dementia or Alzheimer's, you know, uh, family members or, you know, loved ones or whatever, you know, I am very critical. I'm very critical because, you know, what it, but I know it's not rational, right? It's not rational. It just doesn't fit within my realm of, of what I would do, right? But it doesn't make them wrong for showing it. But I just may not like it for those reasons, and that's okay. But I would never criticize them on their pages and take away their coping mechanisms of how to deal with the situation. I would never do that because they're, as my platforms are for myself, um, I would never take away the things I, you know, it's my coping mechanisms. It's how I've grown as a person because I've been able to put myself in other people's shoes. 
I don't fault them for what they do. I just may not like it and I may not follow them and I may not comment, um, you know, unless I like something or I think something is cute or, you know, if I like it and I think it, it's, but if it doesn't, I just scroll. I just scroll because that's the type of person I am. Um, I don't hold judgments against other people. And some of you will probably say, oh, but you're holding a judgment. Yes, maybe, but I'm not commenting on my judgments. I'm not commenting. I'm not berating them and I'm not telling them that I think they're doing it wrong. That's the problem with society today. They think when you're on social media, it gives them the, 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 the validation to criticize and to be mean and give their opinions. I would never do that to somebody. Um, I would never do that to somebody because I don't take it away from them. Their situation, their household dynamics are different than mine. That's it. I don't have to agree with everybody. I don't have to agree with everybody. As everybody doesn't have to agree with me. But just scroll past. Scroll past. Don't take away and shine down on what people think they're doing good with. It's plain and simple. You know, I'm hoping to send positive messages throughout. Um, yes, and I hate that, Heather, because I put myself out there. Therefore, I should be able to expect the ridicule and the ugliness. No, that is no valid reason to take away somebody's sunshine, to share their journey. That's their journey, it's not mine. I know, I hate that, Amanda, I hate that. And that's why I would never do that. I would never, hi, Ollie Cat. I got your message. You sent it to um, you sent it to Dan, but he sent it to me. That was really sweet. I appreciate that. Um, and it's just has to be, you know, I don't think I was, I'm never that type of person, even when I was a weaker individual, I would have never taken the time to respond negatively to somebody because I still had enough couth. I still had enough um, awareness to not comment. Ah. Thank you, Jenna. You're sweet. You don't have to do that. You guys, you don't have to send me anything. Um, I think it's great. You being here every day, you showing your support is so much greater than any um, any financial. Um, but I appreciate that. I think it's really sweet. And I know everybody shows their love in different ways. I do appreciate Jenna. That was really sweet. Um, but it's just me. Um, and not everybody is for me. And not everybody is for me and not vice versa you know they may not like me you know and that's okay that's okay um but i do appreciate the people who you know appreciate what i do or what i'm trying to do um and what and allowing me to grow right allowing me to grow with you guys um because this is social media has by far helped me in so many ways to see things that people don't see in me, but to see my inner self, that people are too um, self-focused to see the things that really matter. You know, my tone, that doesn't matter. You know, the tone doesn't matter. The way I banter with my husband doesn't matter. The core of which I am and what I do every day, my actions matter. I love my family. I love my husband. Does he bug me? Yes. But we do it together. And I'm trying to tell you, you know, to everybody out there that you have to find what works to cope with this crazy world we live in, right? I am lucky in a way that I have this platform that Dan has helped me build and grandpa has helped me build to be able to be my true self, right? Dan doesn't agree with me all the time. I don't agree with him all the time, but it doesn't stop me from loving him and it doesn't stop me from being who I am. And because he doesn't like the way I respond, doesn't mean I'm going to stop because it's what I believe in, right? It's what I believe in. And that's the message that I'm trying to set for everybody else who doesn't have a strong voice, who, who sits and allows people to spew their, their projection onto you. Fuck that. Your feelings are your own, right? How you set your boundaries and all the cat, it comes. You have to search. You know, the platform has helped me in so many ways with myself and who I am and what my purpose is in life. And I feel like if I can just do anything 
to be honest and show my vulnerabilities and my weaknesses and make fun of my situations. You know, that's how I cope with life. I always make fun of myself. There is no perfect soul out there. There is no perfect soul out there. And the people who think they are perfect obviously need to take some self-reflection. Um, tell me on edibles are better. I, you know, he, I don't know if he's a big edible fan. Oh. Uh, you. Uh, I'm shifting to edibles because, uh, it's not as hard on your lungs, so. He coughs so much. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta stop the cough. The cough is like, and his, he, a lot of his cough is allergy related as well. Um, God. I am softy, Alana. I have just, I'm harder on social media because I have to be, right? Um, I have to set a tone of what my boundaries are and what I will tolerate and what I will not. And of course, it brings, you know, it, you know, Dan, Dan says, and this is where we differ, right? Dan says, well, you, you promote it by the things you say, but I'm not going to stop being who I am because I'm promoting. You're going to get hate no matter what. Dan doesn't like me addressing some of the negativity because he thinks, but when he does that to me in a bigger sense, it adds more. It fuels them even more. Then if he just let me say my piece. It, um, is, it is without question. If you ignore it, it will go away. It doesn't go away. It does. No, because it, it does. You've oh, never ignored like it. That. I'm so sorry. Once you take away their prize, which is your responding, they will stop. And um, that's his opinion. And mine is different. That's my opinion. They're, They're on there not, not to, 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 to throw darkness or shade on you. They're there to get a reaction. That's all they care. If they don't get a reaction, they're on to the next point. I also like reacting because it helps me no, to... No, I know you enjoy it, try. which is, I, I which is fine. Okay. And, and sometimes it's good that... that yeah, but it. Joanne, it fuels them, but it also fuels when when Dan cuts me off and says those things on social media, it also fuels them to make to show them that they're right, right? It also, what he does is far worse than what I do. When I say my piece, I say my piece, and majority of them go away. And some of them come back and say, you know what, Danielle, I'm sorry. Plain and simple. Um, you're right, you know. Um, so I do not like when Dan sings and he doesn't like it when I respond to trolls. <laughs> That's true. We both have our own opinions. <laughs> um, I, it, well, it makes me, does it make me look bad? No, I mean, yes, it kind of shuts me down. It shuts me down, I feel like, in what I believe is the right thing to do. And I don't particularly want to get on and engage in two hours of negativity, so. It wasn't two hours of I, negativity. I, I can't deal with continuous negativity on there. It's not why I get on. You're being negative right now. I get on to be, to you're have being, fun. You're being negative right now. I, I know, but I mean, I get on to have fun and to spew fun and to make fun of ourselves and, um, and have some Tegan, cocktails. Tegan, what I did, um, I know, Ollie Cat, not, uh, I can't even imagine that situation. Um, and we all have our shit, right? Um, that would break me as well. But there are so many other things that you can find joy in. You'll still have that pain in your heart and you will still have that missing out. But you have to find your purpose, right? Um, I, I have some Italian blood, yeah. And we're gonna always agree to disagree on this subject. And that's a lot of the reasons why sometimes I hate going live with him because I like to be myself, and I feel like I can't be myself um, 100% when I'm with him. Like my mornings, I love my mornings, you know, because I can just, I don't have any, I don't have to worry about him criticizing me or, you know, I can do whatever I need to do. I've never gotten a trophy. I did. <laughs> um, I, he always spews. <laughs> I love my mornings because I can just be me and I can have fun with it. I have fun with the trolls. Um, um, ZT TV, and that's what this is what I respond to is your inability to see reality and 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 um, the truth behind it. I'm not ashamed to show our um, our differences of opinions between me and my husband. You know, people always say, "Why do you share so much?" Well, why do you watch? If it, if it bothers you that I share um, so much. Don't watch. Um, everybody has their personalities and everybody has um, their ways of doing things and coping with the monotonous bullshit. Don't judge people based on that. If you don't understand it, you don't have to watch nor do you have to comment. 
Um, it's this, it's com called compassion. It's called being kind. It's called being human. It's called having a voice, showing vulnerability. I think showing vulnerabilities within our relationship is huge for other people. Um, don't watch Becky. I mean, again, like I don't care what you don't find unappealing about me, right? You don't have to agree with my antics. You don't have to agree with my swearing. You don't have to agree with me and my personality. But if you don't like it, don't watch it. Because you never know what I'm gonna talk about. You never know how I'm gonna respond. You never know what my mood is. And I think it's fun. Obviously you don't, so stay away. It's simple. I don't understand why, you know, we always have to focus on my problems, what you don't like in me. Focus on yourself and find your happiness. If it's not me or anybody else that you don't like, don't comment. Don't comment. Just scroll like most normal, compassionate people do. That's very simple. I will not say your name, but thank you <laughs> for the money. Um, uh, social media debating about social media. Um, there's nothing wrong with the debates about social media. Dan and I handle our accounts differently, right? I speak the truth. I speak real emotions. I speak with banter. I speak with passion. I speak with pointing out, trying to sh get you to see that your opinions that you want to say, your opinions are not always valid. It's not valid. But some of you are so hard headed that you can't put yourself in somebody else's shoes. You do not want to see, nor do you want to try to find relatability. You want to pretend and sit in your little bubble and pretend that your life is so much grander than mine. My life is fine. I choose to share what I like. Becky, again, you keep at it. I am an influencer. You know how many people I influence, Becky? Just because you don't like my personality doesn't mean I affect people the same way you feel. Those are your feelings and they're true to you, but they are not true to everybody else. Right? Am I speaking off the cuff? But like, hello. Um, so anyhow. Uh, I know. Thanks, peps. Yeah. And, and people say that, but they want to sit and say, everybody influences people in different ways. Everybody influences people in different ways. That's it. That's the bottom line. That's the bottom line. Um, Becky is gone. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, Becky, look at her butt. I'm just trying to enlighten people to think about things in a different perspective. That's why I, um, that's why I speak and that's why I point out certain trolls and that's why I comment because you got to open your mind, open your eyes, right? And you need to put things in different perspectives. Just because you have one perspective doesn't mean that's right. And maybe you should try to put yourself in somebody else's shoes. Um, it's, just called being a human, empathetic, kind. Um, I can see people's point of views. I can see that I may not agree with everybody, but I can still be respectful enough to leave them alone, you know? Um, and, you know, I try to break through those strong-willed people, but, you know, sometimes it's, words are lost on them, and that's okay. Um, uh Amber, what are you focusing on the negative for? Have I not commented to everybody who's given me money? Are you not watching? Are you not listening? Uh, yes. And they, and I think, um, I think people who, um, there's a different, there's a different, there's a different, you know, people say, well, I'm entitled to give my opinion. 
Okay, freedom of speech. I saw that earlier today. Um, yes, but there's a difference between an opinion of an open-minded person and a closed-minded person. Um, the You can tell the opinions of somebody who has respect um, versus somebody who really doesn't. Uh, and I can see through all the bullshit. I can see through the passive aggressive opinions. Um, and there you have it. Um, hi, Armando. How are you? How is everybody tonight? Uh, I got a headache. <laughs> My head is pounding hormones. Um, no, it, and it's fine, Amber. It's fine. Um, I just, you know, again, you, you guys have to pay attention. I always pay attention to the people. Um, I may not say, oh, you know, the dollar amount or whatever, but um, I think nobody has a drinking problem. This is water, just so you know. I drink it out of a wine glass. Judgment, assumptions, they get you in trouble all the time. <laughs> uh, and that's your opinion. That's your opinion, ZTTB. Whatever you want to say, that's on you, not me. Don't project your shit on me. Plain and simple. Um, <laughs> Heather, I'm missing Heather's comments. <laughs> Again, I'm okay with not being everybody's cup of tea. Um, but as most people, if somebody's not my cup of tea, I don't waste my time or my finger tapping. Um, so many people's assumes, and that's the thing. Like people assume I had two glasses of wine tonight and the last three glasses I've had have been water. Um, and people assume just cause it's in a wine glass. I like to drink my waters out of wine glasses. I'm weird. I like it. Um, so it's just, don't assume. And that's where assumptions get you in trouble. Uh, you know, cheers. These are from followers. Yep. All these, cause I broke, I had a, a year and a half ago, I had, um, oh, she's calling me, hold on. Hey, I'll call you back. I'm finishing my live. Oh, sorry. Okay, bye. Um, it's Rocky. Um, I, uh, I, I had these glasses that I don't have. I can't even show you. They were hand-painted glasses. Um, and I had four, and then I had three, and then I had two, and well, then I had one, and I was on my last one. And I broke it on a live. It was a subscriber live at the time, and it wasn't a Zoom. It wasn't, it was on a little subscriber live that we still chatted. There was no pictures. You could only see us kind of like this. Um, no, Amber, you're fine. Um, and it was, um, and so when I lost, when I broke my last glass on my pan and it was from, um, it was from, they were from Pier One, remember Pier One? And I love the glasses. And I had bought them for a girl's night at my house. Um, and everybody was supposed to take home a glass. Everybody was supposed to take home a glass and I kept them. I was like, <laughs> I like these, never mind, they're mine. Um, and and um, and so when I broke that one on live, then I got like three of these different people had sent them to me because they knew I was so upset for my glasses. Um, so I have, I think I have like two of, um, two of these and then I have another one with um, Danny Lyons and stuff and I, I love it. I, I love them. I love my fun glasses. And I, and I, and, and, and Amber, it's fine. <laughs> I, I promise you it's fine. Um, and that's what I said, you know, here's the thing is that I can respect, you know, I point things out and if, you know, you still have a valid reason of why you think you're right versus me. And when you come back and say, okay, no, I'm sorry. I wasn't paying attention. It's okay. Um, <clears throat> it's okay. Like I, it's okay. But yeah, so I have these. I haven't broken these yet. Although I almost broke it over there. Um, so I, uh, yeah, it is what it is, you guys. Um, life is too short to waste time on people that aren't worthy to you or you don't find a benefit with, right? Um, I've wasted so many years and time trying to keep friendships up that were so one-sided, you know, and I realized I was the one making the effort all the time. And I learned to just let it go, you know, let those things go. If something doesn't bring joy to me, if something doesn't make me happy, I don't put my energy into it because it's a waste of time. It's a waste of space. Um, I have so much stress in my life. This roof now added to it. Um, 
that I just don't have the, the energy to deal with the things on social media that I just don't care for, you know, nor would I, would I want to upset somebody with a stupid comment. Um, because people have a lot going on in their lives, um, aside from what they do on social media. And I am for an outlet for everybody. Um, and it could be very daunting. We've lost a lot of great creators, whether they've taken their own life or whether they have taken a break because of, um, it doesn't matter how, how, how many followers you have, right? It doesn't matter how sweet and genuine you are. People always attack. People always try to bring you down. And it's just unfair, right? I don't see any purpose for adding to anybody else's life any more stress to other people's lives. If you can't have anything nice to say, if you don't have any positivity, why waste your time? Why waste your time? It's life's too short. You know, I lost my mom at 53. I lost my dad at 55. Um, you know, I just different perspective when things touch you differently. You know, social media has taught me a lot in that manner of just trying to be a better person. Um, Elise Myers. Yes. Elise Myers. What a fucking amazing person um, who's, you know, who has her own mental health issues and, and who shares it for the people who find a uh, relatability to her. And she just had a son, you know, her second child who has undergone heart problems, you know, and she was having, it was a political shit, right? That she was being bombarded with and couldn't do it. She had so much pressure and so much pain and heartache with her own family dynamics that she had to take away from what she loved doing, whether it was her coping mechanism or just sharing with people who appreciated her. But there's those, and I always tell people this all the time. She shut every, she removed all her videos. God, it broke my heart. Um, and because she couldn't take it anymore, you know, it was too much for her in this time in her life. And I don't blame her. Um, it is hard. And you know, there is so much positivity, right? In social media that, Oh, thanks. you come on. Come on. Thank you so much. Um, there is so much positivity with every creator influencer, whatever you want to call us on social media. But when you get that negative and when you see that negative, it's, you know, the positive sometimes far outweighs the negative, right? Because there's so much more. There's probably like a 10%, um, 10% googly gop that's in there. You know, uh, one bad seed feeds the other bad seeds and then they jump on the bandwagon and, you know, do all this other shit. But when you get low with your, own personal shit sometimes you can't break away from seeing the negative and it weighs you down um every creator gets that way every yes beth i will um every creator gets that way um i will show you a, i'll show you a picture now because it's one of my favorite pictures and jennifer took it and i'll it's not the best um uh yeah, the hip senior. It's so sad. I mean, people want to just take away everybody's sunshine, you know? When you actually tried your best to do something and to give people something that they can relate to and something that they can laugh with and laugh at their own experiences and their stresses. And people want to just put blame and tear you down and call you a piece of shit for what, you know? For their own benefit or to see you leave, you know? Um, karma, they say, ooh, karma, karma for what? I mean, the only karma that I know about attacks the people who are the mean ones, not the ones that are trying to do good, right? Um, okay, so the story behind this. This is one of my favorite pictures ever of my mom. Um, uh, uh, before she was diagnosed with cancer, um, she, um, it was, we started going to Disneyland trips, right? She would take me and, and the kids, right? Um, and then she had cancer and we, um, and we, she still did it. And this picture, she had just gone through her chemo, her hair's growing back. Um, 
and this was the last trip we took. Um, I remember driving down um, and we had found out that um, the results that you know, started, it was spreading. It was in our adrenal glands and, um, and so this is our last trip we took. Um, and, um, I had gotten the girls, or I'd gotten, yeah, the girls at the time, Andrew was a baby. Um, the, I'll show you two of them. I'll go get the other one. Um, because it's, 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 um, oh, I'm sure the hips in there, just whatever. Um, the, and I got the girls a little, um, disposable camera, you know, just so they can take pictures and. Um, and Jennifer took the camera over and I can tell you something when I developed the photos, God, I cried, I cried and I cried and I cried and I cried. Um, especially this picture of my mom. Um, I'll show you the first one. This was, um, our last trip. Um, so, um, Jennifer took the picture cause she's not in it. Um, so this is, um, this is, this is, um, so this is Andrew. Um, my mom died probably, um, this was probably in the summertime. So January things started going downhill drastically. Um, so there's Hannah banana with her ears on. Um, there's me, um, Andrew and Jennifer took that picture. So they're grainy cause it was a, it was a, a, a portable camera, um, or a disposable camera. So there, there's that right there. Isn't that cute? Um, that's my mommy. And this one, um, it brings tears to my eyes every time I see it because Jennifer captured this. And I, I think this was in the hotel room. Um, and when I saw this picture, um, I just, I cried and I just said, I have to, um, film it. It was just my mom. She was happy. You know, she still tried to keep such, sorry, it's really dusty. Um, yeah. So Jennifer got that you know, and I, I think it was, like I said, I think it was, um, in the hotel room and, you know, she probably said, grandma smile. And there she is. <laughs> um, this is one of, one of, one of my, um, one of my favorite, one of my favorite pictures of her. Um, yeah, our last trip, this was our last trip and I can still, um, I can still like, you know, I have tears in my eyes because it just, you know, it just, she was happy. You know, this was the place that she enjoyed. She enjoyed her grandkids. Her grandkids were her life. Um, and it pains me because, you know, Andrew was such a baby. He doesn't remember her. Um, and, um, you know, that she doesn't get to see the, um, Josh and, you know, his beautiful kids and, she would have been just over the moon, you know, she would have been over the moon, over the moon, um, with all of her grandkids. Um, and it would have been a tradition that we would have probably kept, you know, the Disneyland and it would have happened with Josh's kids and we would have been there together, um, doing this stuff with the babies, you know, the nuggets, you know, um, so yeah, you know, the older I get, um, she was really radiant in this picture. She was just happy. And part of me thinks she knew, you know, part of me thinks she knew that her time was coming. Um, and she always, um, she always put on such a brave face. You know, I, I'm so unlike her in so many ways. Everything I show is out in the open. You see everything. <laughs> I was not, she was not like that. My mom was very poised. You didn't know. And I found, um, when I was cleaning out her closet and I can share it when, one day with you, um, she had started to write. Um, uh, my mom was a writer. She wrote a lot of poems. Um, she was very creative. My mother, um, she was very artistic. I have a lot of her pictures. She painted, <laughs> um, and I walked in, um, I, uh, I walked in Josh's bathroom the other day, um, and, uh, he has one of her paintings in the, in the bathroom and I forgot he had it, but it's been there since they moved into that house. Um, and it was just, 
it, it just, I had a tear. I, Rocky didn't see it, but I just was like, God, I love, I love that he's holding on to some of those things, you know. Um, my mom did everything. She tried to, I have old blankets. I have, you know, she quilted and, um, you know, she was one of those things that started projects, but never, but I have to dig out some of her, um, her paintings that she did. Um, and Josh keeps one in his bathroom and I love it because, you know, Josh, I feel hasn't, he was so young that I think he's still working through some of that pain, you know, some of that pain. Um, but yeah, she was, this was my mom, this smile, this was my mom, you know, everything is going to be okay. You know, like Danielle, like take a deep breath. You're going to be fine. You will get through this, you know, and she just always gave me, God, I miss her, you know? Um, I miss her. Andrew does not remember her. Um, Jennifer, you know, um, Jennifer was seven. Jennifer turned, my mom died on February 24th. Um, and Jennifer's birthday is the 27th. Um, we were on our way home from Hawaii when she passed. Um, and um, Jennifer, uh, my mom always took the girls and they spent the night and she watched them when we traveled and um, all those things. And um, Jennifer probably remembers her the most because she had more years. Hannah was about four, four and a half. Um, so her, her memories are fleeting. Um, she does have, and I'll share it with you. It's up in her room. Ed and, um, one of Hannah's birthdays. Um, and it just it brings tears to my eyes every time I hear it. Cause you know, you, as time goes on, you know, their voices become a distant voice. Like it becomes harder and harder to hear them. Right. Um, uh, and this one, um, it was a build a bear. Hannah wanted to build a bear. And so it was a little voice box and it was, it, they called her Hannah Banana. And so um, they said, uh, if you, when you push the little voice box, I'm like, don't push it anymore. Um, it says, we love you, Hannah Banana. And it was grandpa and my mom saying it at the same time. Um, and so that, those are, you know, those are the things, those are the things that are amazing. Um, I have all of her um, videos um, that they took when they, um, when they traveled in the RV, uh, my mom was big on videographing. And so one of these days we're going to have to get those all transferred over because Josh was always there, you know, in those things. So that'll be something cool for Josh to have. Um, and I have them all, I have all that stuff. So we'll have to invest in getting them all transferred over to digital, uh, or whatever. Is that digital? I don't know. Um, and so, um, yeah, there's some good memories. And occasionally when I'm feeling really down and out, I go upstairs um, and, oh, you wanna see it? Last, you didn't see the pictures. Um, uh, I know, I still wear her robe and some of you know it's her robe and you comment on my robe when you see it in on me. Um, Les, this is my mommy. It was, I, I, did you hear the story? Um, this was, Jennifer took it uh, on a portable camera in Disneyland. This was our last trip together um, and she died. Oh, 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 okay. Um, my mom, shit, I almost broke my glass. <laughs> um, um, <laughs> Disneyland, ugh, it was not the happiest place on earth. I hated every minute of it, Jake. <laughs> I did, I only, but you know, those are my memories with my mom. Um, yeah, but I do, it's weird because as I age, I look more and more like her. My facial features are coming out. Her nose looks a little like mine in there. Um, yeah, I miss her, you guys. Um, she was um, 53 when she died. She died in February. She would have been 54 um, in October. Yeah, so um, uh, great memories, you know, and sometimes when I'm feeling really down and out, um, I know I don't know where they are, Laura. I don't know where they are. I will be so sad if that ever gets destroyed. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so, and sometimes when I'm really down and out, I go upstairs and I hit the button and I just have a moment to myself, you know? Um, and I think we all need to do that. You know, we all need to do that. Um, so my mama was, she was a great woman. You know, she had her shit, right? We all do. Um, she wasn't perfect, but you know what? She was perfect to me. <laughs> and I think as we age, we appreciate the things that they did give us. Um, we appreciate 
um, the things that we never appreciated during that moment. And that's why I always try to tell people as much as you can, appreciate the small shit, you know, appreciate. Um, and tonight, Laura, I think I'm going to go upstairs. I haven't heard it in a long time. Um, I haven't, I haven't heard it in a long time. So tonight it's making me feel like I need to feel her. Um, it makes you appreciate. And you know, had I known, had I known, you know, her life was going to end so quickly, I probably would have taken more time to enjoy the little things, you know, the times when, the times when I got mad at her, you know, I would give one second back for, you know, hanging up on her because I was pissed off at her. I didn't want to hear, um, you know, what she said. Um, yeah, I'm feeling, maybe I should go upstairs. You want to hear it? Let's go do it. You want to go hear it? Yeah, I'm just playing guitar. Let me go see. You want to hear it? Let's do it. Let's do it. Walk upstairs. Hi, in Norway. So this was cute, speaking of. So this is um, uh, this one right here. So the kids had, this was Jennifer, and I'll read it. It says, Grandma and Grandpa. My grandma and grandpa have a special place in my heart. My grandma takes me to Disneyland. Hold on. This was the picture. Um, last year was the last time she took a baby because she died. <laughs> my grandpa is here today. He likes to take me to McDonald's. <laughs> I'm so glad both are part of my life. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Woo, I was doing so good. <laughs> it just fit with those pictures. Oh, look, Hannah left a towel. <laughs> okay, let me see. Where's the bear? Don't mind this closet. Oh, there it is. <sighs> My mom used to make like, I'll show you, like little blankets and scarves. Uh, a lot of it's put away. Sorry. <laughs> Isn't that cute? I'll do it one more time. You guys better appreciate this. I don't know how these, how long these voice boxes last. We love you and a banana. <laughs> there it is. That's up there. In the safe place. <laughs> I love that thing. Isn't that cute? Woo! That took me. That wasn't gonna take me, but that, I just got, yeah, that note to, um, I forgot, that was right after that trip, and they had to do a project at school, and there it is. Yeah, that's something she will have forever, you know? <sighs> Anywho, <laughs> unexpected. I was doing so good, too. <laughs> uh, yeah, I love that. Um, anyhow, um, I know maybe I do do that's a good idea, Deanna. That's a good idea. Shit. I need to do that. Yeah. Sorry, you guys. That was horrible. Um, anywho, <laughs> I'm going to go. I've been on longer than I thought I was going to be on tonight. Um, it's seven o'clock. I'm going to go read and relax. My head's been pounding me. I told you, um, my period is here, not just the spotting. It's on with a vengeance. Um, and just today, just this evening, my head just started pounding and, um, and yeah, well, my emotions got the best of me on that one. <laughs> Anyhow, thank you guys so much for your love, your support and everything else in between and just <laughs> witnessing me losing my shit. Um, so yes, I, you know, I, I would love to share more about my mom and, um, and show more pictures and we can do all that stuff too. Um, you know, now that, um, you know, I love it. I love talking about it. You know, um, it keeps the memory alive, you know, it 
keeps the memory alive. Um, it has been <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. Um, but thank you. And, um, you know, the bringing up of those, those memories and, um, and just seeing that letter, holy crap, I just, and grandpa did take her to McDonald's. <laughs> um, that's what he did for her. Anyway, you guys, good night. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the gifts. Thank you for understanding and getting me and my crazy. Um, and thank you for understanding and being patient with what I tried to do and what I tried to portray and what I tried to just get across to people. Um, you guys rock and you being here every day makes my night, my day. So love you guys. Hug your mamas, hug your daddies. Um, and if yours are gone like mine, have a moment, look at a picture and just remember all the the great things that they gave you. Love you guys.